everybody, Joe here with Ken at the Movies. This time I want to talk to you all about Rebel Moon Part 2, uh, The Scar Giver. And it's starring uh, Sophia Butelli, Anthony Hopkins, Jimon Hansu, Charlie Honman, and the list goes on and on and on. And let me keep it real with y'all. This was objectively not that good. Objectively. And... <sighs> Coming right off of like watching like episodes five and six of X Men '97 and everything like that, the the writing, um, the exposition was uh, boring. I mean, just to be completely honest. Okay, so let's start off. Ed Scrine's character playing playing Atticus Nobles, Noble, excuse me, um, basically waking up in the back of the tank from the last movie and he just wakes up and it's like where am i and still having a hard time trying to figure out why i care about these characters and i think that this really has more to do with the direction and not the actors i don't want to blame it on them i don't want to blame it on that i believe it might have the to do with the direction of rebel moon i really think that it has potential and i think that's the thing that really disappoints me about rebel moon is that it has potential to be something good like the 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 premise of rebel moon is good but i have no reason to fear this big bad empire or whatever if a farming community can beat you down <laughs> why am i afraid you know what what is really scary about you then on top of that they had like this this core group of characters that were going to be a part of the battle but what I think that the direction was trying to do was let's get to know them better but what it turned into was them it, it reminded me of a thousand years of longing where uh, they were just sitting around talking and telling stories and we were seeing their side stories or their backstories but I don't feel like it really helps me to care about these characters they were just trying to force all of that on us. I feel like they wanted to force the reason why we should care. And I never got to the point where I cared about any of these characters. Sophia Butelli, who plays Korra, um, has a very stoic way of delivering lines. And ultimately, like when it comes down to her and romance, I don't really believe it when I see it. Um, so there's there's that then we can get into some of the good things um obviously you know there's a lot of action um there are a lot of explosions but i want to talk about kind of like the overuse of slow motion now i know who we're dealing with here okay um slow motion is his thing slow motion is his thing and um I just think that it's overused and the overusage doesn't hide the fact that the fight choreography is mid. Um, so Zack Snyder is huge for slow motion in just about everything that he does and filming beautifully. They're like, I think the, the scenes are, are perfect and they look good. Um, it's just some of the core stuff like we don't need all that slow motion because it's not hiding the fact that the fight choreography is bad if you want to you know I would honestly say you should probably deal more with weapons um, shooting explosions and things like that because the fight choreography was not very believable so I had a hard time kind of getting past that and I really want to enjoy Rebel Bone because again it is a as far as a concept for science fiction, I love the concept, but the movie is not good. So um, just for the actors and actresses, because there's some good actors and actresses in this um, film. The issue is the direction and the writing. Um, it's a little dry, um, honestly, because uh, I do like Zack Snyder and I do like a lot of the actors and actresses in it. So I'll have to give it a gentleman's D. It's not great, but you will 
enjoy it. So there are certain things I feel like are like bad, like trash you should never watch. And there are certain things that are bad, but are enjoyable. I feel like Rebel Moon is bad objectively, but it is enjoyable. So I don't know. Give it a watch and let me know what you all think down in the comments. Again, I've been Joe with Canada at the Movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. And y'all take care. Have a fantastic day. Peace.